So I created a GPT, a customizable chatbot using OpenAI's new feature um, called Your Socratic Buddy. Um, the purpose is to have a partner to have intellectual, serious intellectual discussions with. And so here's one of the ones I've tried. Um, I chose a topic sort of at random, um, honor, and I talked for about 15 minutes with this bot about the topic of honor. I'll let you watch and listen to it. Um, it's quite interesting. But the one, one thing that impressed me was towards the end of the conversation, I ask, um, after we've talked about various aspects of honor and the historical changes and views of honor, um, to what extent can the concept of honor be used to explain uh, parts of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas? And I found it's different explanations for those two um, international conflicts quite interesting. Um, it's, not, it's not a stupid bot. Okay, so please enjoy. Yeah, I'd like to talk about a concept that, of course, I know the meaning, um, and I know it's important in human society, but I've never given much thought about its history and structure as a concept. The, what I want to talk about is honor, the concept of honor. Honor is a fascinating and complex concept with deep historical roots. It's often associated with integrity, respect, and a sense of duty or moral uprightness. Historically, honor played a central role in many societies, shaping social structures, personal interactions, and even legal systems. In different cultures, honor could mean different things. For instance, in feudal Japan, the samurai's code of honor, Bushido, emphasized loyalty, martial arts mastery, and honor unto death. In contrast, in medieval Europe, chivalric code guided knights, intertwining honor with ideals of courtly love and bravery. Today, the concept of honor still influences our actions and values, though perhaps in more subtle ways. It can be linked to personal integrity, reputation, and even social standing. What are your thoughts about how the concept of honor has evolved over time? Do you see its impact in today's society? Well, I want to explore a little bit more um, its history. What about in the Western classical world, in classical Greece and Rome? What was the status of honor there? In classical Greece and Rome, honor held a significant status, deeply intertwined with the societal and political fabric of these cultures. In ancient Greece, particularly in the city-states like Athens and Sparta, honor, or tima, was closely tied to one's status and achievements. Public recognition, through acts of valor in battle or contributions to the state, was highly valued. The Greeks also saw honor as a collective attribute, where the actions of individuals could bring honor or shame to their family or city-state. For the Romans, honor, or honos, was similarly crucial. It was closely linked to virtue, virtus, and involved public esteem gained through fulfilling one's duties to family, state, and the gods. The Roman concept of honor was deeply tied to the public and political life, where military achievements, political success, and public service were key avenues to gain and display honor. In both cultures, honor was more than a personal moral guideline. It was a social mechanism that helped maintain order and structure. How do you think these historical perspectives on honor compare to contemporary views? Well, let's explore it a little bit more recently, but not yet up to the present. So, for example, what about in Western Europe in, uh, say, the 18th, 19th, into the 20th centuries? Um, did honor have, play the same role in terms of um, enforcing or strengthening social cohesion? Or what could be said about that? In Western Europe during the 18th, 19th, and into the 20th centuries, the concept of honor underwent some significant transformations, reflecting the changing social, political, and cultural landscapes. During the 18th century, the Age of Enlightenment brought a shift in thinking. Honor still played a role in social cohesion, but there was a growing emphasis on intellectual achievements and moral virtue over traditional aristocratic values. This period saw a gradual democratization of honor where it wasn't solely the domain of the nobility. 
In the 19th century, the concept of honor became more democratized and individualized, particularly with the rise of the middle class. Honor was not just about noble birth or military prowess. It increasingly involved personal integrity, professional accomplishments, and moral behavior in both public and private life. By the 20th century, particularly with the devastation of the world wars, the traditional notions of honor linked with military valor and national pride were critically reassessed. The catastrophic consequences of these wars led to a questioning and reevaluation of these aspects of honor. Throughout these centuries, honor continued to play a role in social cohesion, but it adapted to the changing values and structures of society. The idea of personal honor became more prominent, emphasizing individual responsibility and ethical conduct. How do you see the transition from collective to more individual notions of honor impacting society? Do you think this shift has influenced our modern understanding of the concept? Well, one thing that comes to mind is I wonder about the, the gendered aspects of honor. You mentioned um, two or three times the association with military prowess. And so that would suggest that honor was primarily a, a male um, phenomenon. Um, how has that been? You're right to point out the gendered aspects of honor, especially historically. For a long time, honor was predominantly associated with masculine virtues like bravery in battle, physical strength, and leadership. This association was especially pronounced in societies where military prowess was highly valued. In many cultures, a man's honor was often linked to his ability to protect and provide for his family and to defend his and his. In some cases, a man's honor was also connected to the perceived purity or behavior of the women in his family, which had significant implications for gender roles and expectations. However, this doesn't mean that women were excluded from concepts of honor. In many societies, women's honor was often tied to chastity, fidelity, and the maintenance of the household. While these aspects of honor may seem restrictive by modern standards, they were nonetheless important in the historical context and played a role in social dynamics. Over time, as societies have evolved, so too have the gendered notions of honor. The 20th and 21st centuries in particular have seen significant shifts in how honor is conceptualized and applied across genders, with a growing emphasis on equality and individual merit. How do you think these gendered aspects of honor have influenced social structures and relationships? Do you see remnants of these traditional views in modern society? Well, there might very well be, but let me ask you a question. So let's bring this up to the very recent um, past and the present, which is the um, Russian invasion of Absolutely. Ukraine. Let's explore how the concept of honor is viewed and manifested in recent times. In the contemporary world, the understanding of honor has become quite broad and diverse, reflecting the varied cultural and social landscapes we live in. It's no longer as rigidly defined or as closely tied to social status, military prowess, or gender roles as it once was. Today, honor often conveys a sense of integrity and ethical behavior in a broad sense. It's about living up to one's own values and societal expectations in a way that earns respect and admiration from others. This can be seen in various contexts, from personal relationships and professional conduct to public service and global citizenship. Moreover, in our interconnected and digital age, the idea of honor has also taken on new dimensions. People are increasingly held accountable for their actions, both offline and online, and the concept of a global communal sense of honor is emerging, where actions are measured against not just local or national standards, but global ones as well. What are your thoughts on how the concept of honor is evolving in today's world? Do you think it's gaining more significance or is it becoming more diluted in our complex society? Well, I certainly think it's changing. Um, let me ask you a question. What about um, in international relations? So, for example, in uh, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. And as I speak, that war is continuing. Um, w w can that war, the breakout of that war, um, be explained in terms of honor, for example? in terms concept of concept of honor in international relations, especially in the context of conflict, 
like the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine is indeed a complex and multifaceted issue. In international politics, honor can sometimes be interpreted through the lens of national pride, reputation, and perceived strength. Nations often engage in actions that they believe will uphold or enhance their status and honor on the global stage. This can involve demonstrating military might, defending national interests, or asserting sovereignty. The Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022 is a situation where various interpretations of honor might be at play. For Russia, the action could be seen as an assertion of power and influence, rooted in historical, cultural, and strategic considerations, which the Russian leadership might perceive as tied to their national honor. Conversely, Ukraine's resistance and the global response to the invasion involve elements of honor as well. Ukraine's defense of its sovereignty and territorial integrity and the support it has received from many countries can be seen as upholding principles of national self-determination and international law, which are also tied to notions of honor and moral integrity in the international community. In such conflicts, honor can sometimes be used as a justification for actions that are contested or condemned by the international community. It's a reminder that the concept of honor can be interpreted in many ways, depending on the perspective and parties involved. How do you perceive the role of honor in international relations, especially in conflicts like the one between Russia and Ukraine? Do you think it plays a significant part in how nations conduct themselves on the world stage? Well, I think in the case of the Ukrainian um, out, out war, it, it, honor does seem to be playing a role, as you pointed out. What about more recently? So a month ago, the, a war broke out between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas in the um, Gaza Strip. I think you can search the internet to find out the details about that. Um, is that kind of conflict explainable in terms of honor, or are there other concepts that would be uh, more powerful as explanatory tools? In the recent conflict between Israel and Hamas, which started in October 2023, we see a complex interplay of factors, including political, territorial, and ideological elements. While honor can be one aspect in such conflicts, it's not the sole or primary explanatory tool. The conflict is multidimensional, involving historical grievances, national identity, territorial claims, and security concerns. Hamas, a U.S.-designated foreign terrorist organization, launched a large-scale attack on Israel, including firing a barrage of rockets into southern Israel. Israel responded with counterattacks and an invasion of the Gaza Strip. In conflicts like this, concepts like national security, territorial integrity, political ideologies, and the struggle for international legitimacy often play more significant roles than honor in the traditional sense. Honor might still be a factor, particularly in how each side perceives its actions and justifies them to their populace and the international community. However, these conflicts are usually more about tangible goals like territorial control, political power, and security concerns. The ongoing conflict has also led to discussions around war crimes and the need for negotiations and diplomacy. This shift in focus from honor to legal and humanitarian issues reflects the complexity of modern conflicts where multiple layers of international law, human rights, and global opinion interact with traditional concepts like honor. In your view, how do such multifaceted conflicts shape our understanding of concepts like honor in the context of international relations? Well, I think they um, demand that we think about them um, deeply and um, in, in a multifaceted way, which this discussion with you has helped me to do. So thank you very much. That's all for today. It's great to hear that our discussion has been thought provoking for you. Reflecting deeply on such complex issues is indeed valuable. I'm glad I could assist in exploring these topics. Whenever you have more questions or want to discuss other subjects, feel free to reach out. 
Have a great day. So you can see there were some technical glitches. Um, I was using the iOS app when I um, to, had that conversation, and a few times the sound dropped off. Also, it waits for silence in order to begin responding, and sometimes I was actually still talking, and it, it, it started speaking over me. So the, the there were a few minor glitches, but overall... Um, I thought the conversation went quite well. So um, I'll probably be uploading a few more of these to um, show anyone who's interested how this um, bot works. The link to the bot is in the description to this video, and anyone who has a subscription to ChatGPT Plus can try it out. If you have any um, comments about it, you can leave comments on this video, or you can email me at my address, which is linked from my website which is also linked from the end screen in uh, one or two seconds. So thank you all very much.